Breakpoint video, and I apologize if I'm speaking softly, it's because I don't want to wake my girlfriend up, she's still asleep. So, here is my guide for ranging rifles so far, based on my experience in the Breakpoint beta. Now, I am sad to say ranging is a bit more limited than it was in Wildlands, um, and let's show you why here. I'll pull up my binoculars here. Now, see, I can I'm using this area right here, actually. Here, let's first show that in the map. So, I'm over here at the Fugitives Valley Bivouac. Now, that's northwest here of Air 1. You can easily get here with the chopper, no problem. It's really simple to get to. Um, so, yeah, just keep, a, keep that location in mind right there. Now, what we're using for ranging is this thing here. Now, you can follow it up now, quite a ways here. We're actually using the pillager, but if you notice, as I get past that certain range there, I start to lose. It's no longer detecting range, and even if I go to place a beacon, places it way out past it. So, I don't know if this is something that's just in the beta, or if it's something that um, will be resolved later. But, yeah, we're going to have a harder time ranging your rifles in this game uh, past, you know, about 400 meters. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mark see right about here because we're using these pillars oh nice 386 we're using these pillars here to kind of plan our bullet drop so now I'm going to um, scoot back here get to about 400 this may or may not work well at 400 meters but now I'm going to hold my breath see there I'm not seeing an impact that's okay I sort of am anyways I'm just aiming for the center of that and now I'm going to take my drone and fly up this works fine for the shorter ranges but you may not be able to see where your hits land 400 because that's right at the edge there. Yeah, see? No bullet marks. Now, if we change this to where we're aiming at, like this pillar here, I'm not going to worry too much about <coughs> being right on in this case. You notice there's not much bullet drop in this. I'm shooting the TAC-50 right now. Um, I decided I'm not going to invest much into the other rifles while we're still in beta, just because of this bug I discovered here. Or this limitation, I guess you could say. A 300 meters should be visible. Yep, see? There you can see you're dropping. Really? That is hardly any bullet drop. Look at how close I am. Just 20 meters away, that headshot would have been torso, approximately. So, planning for your bullet drop is going to be harder, but there is less bullet drop in some in some cases. So, at least with the TAC-50 there is. Um, but it is going to be more of a challenge. Um, so that's kind of disappointing for those of us who like playing as longer range snipers. Now, I'm not saying this is the best place to range out your rifle. There's a lot of factors here that make this less than ideal. The weather, for one, is annoying. Um, 
I actually, I've tried a few other places, but this one honestly is better than anything else I've tried. Do location, e e how easy it is to get to, and options for ranging. But yeah, that range is just kind of, that range bug is kind of sad. So, one of the other things um, you might want to mess with is, I don't believe I noticed any difference with the sniper special ability, with the uh, the uh, buster bullets, wherever they are, I can't remember now, but um, let's actually look here. Um, um, yeah, armor buster. See these bullets? I don't know if bullet drop is affected at all with these. Um, I believe so. I saw some, but it was early on in my testing when I accidentally switched to it. So, um, but yeah, so that's kind of preliminary information on ranging your rifle in Breakpoint. It's not quite as easy as in Wildlands, and so you're going to have a, a tougher time with this. However, depending on the rifle you're using, there is less bullet drop. Um, and now keep in mind this is all beta information. This could change at any moment. So um, so, so just take that with a grain of salt. Uh, I will uh, come back here when the game goes uh, early release for pre-orders and try and range out again see if they fix the range issue and we'll, we'll try and uh, and I'll record a video doing full ranging to see if that's still there. Hopefully it won't be. Hopefully we'll be able to get our 600 meter range because there's some areas where that 600 meters can really help you out. But otherwise, when I've been playing the game, I've mostly found myself shooting within 200 and under. Um, now, there's going to be some larger areas where you're going to be dealing with uh, longer range shots um, without choice like uh, I guess probably this right here maybe I haven't actually been over there obviously so um, here <laughs> if you're going to do the behemoth area you will probably want to be as far away as possible when you start but and of course there's another behemoth area over but yeah so that is the uh, that's the basic information I can give you for ranging your rifle it's not great news but it's still doable and of course gameplay has changed enough that I, th I think we'll still do fine and you never know what will change from beta to release so nice and short video instead of a full gameplay video this time Let's go ahead and talk about bivouacs while we're here. <coughs> bivouacs are your fast travel locations. And something else I want to note here real quick is um, you don't actually have to visit a bivouac to fast travel to it. You just have to have someone tell you where it is or find intel on it. So you can, um, like this one here, I've never visited this one. Like I had someone tell me where it was. And that was that. So makes things a little easier but you can just fast travel to any of these and uh, once someone tells you where it is not entirely unlike wildlands home bases but let's go ahead and deploy the bivouac so you can see how this mechanic works I tell you what I explored a lot um, on foot and in the helicopter trying to find a good sniper um, ranging area and I tell you what this game gets hairy sometimes it is fun I also ended up taking up a helicopter and they did fix the bug I was concerned about so I won't share it with you um, but yeah so all right you've got a few different things you can do here um, garage uh, you can't utilize here but you've got preparations tactics and craft. Craft is just what you think it might be. This is where you can make stuff. Um, 
based on stuff you've salvaged, you know, rations and, and, and gear. Um, tactics. Uh, this just pulls up your skill stuff. Um, uh, see, that's interesting. And you can look at your equipment. I haven't actually watched that video. That's cool. Anyways, so, um, and then preparations. This is one of the things you'll always want to do when you hit a bivouac. Um, is you can pick one of these things here, these preparations. And, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. And you'll get this boost for like an hour or so. Um, drone range is great if you're out doing scouting. This is great if you're just going to be, you know, trying to do as much as you can in an hour. Increase accuracy. Yeah. Um, sniper, unless your your rifle is low on accuracy, that's not really all that useful. Stretching, somewhat useful if you're going to be on foot a lot. Uh, same with hydrate and eating if you're going to be doing something crazy do one of these yeah but always pick one you know, if nothing else resource is always good XP bonus so I'm gonna go ahead and click one here the immersion level of this game is really quite interesting so there we go 60 minutes now I'm going to exit my I'm going to break camp and this will let you select a time to uh, leave I'm going to leave at night just so we can see what this area looks like at night oh look at that the weather is wow it is really bright out here doesn't make much sense for the time but okay let's see if we can do a little better on ranging let's see oh wait look at that let's see if I'm looking at the ground I get a little bit more range out of it so let's try this Okay, that's not bad. So let's do one of my more traditional things here. Let's go to... This one. We'll do... Try and get 350. See? The drop is not bad, even at 350. Keep in mind, this was the TAC 50, so right, let's take my drone and go scope it out. So there we go. We can see my shots landing there. 350 is a safe range range out here. So. Yeah, just keep that in mind here. We are at Fugitives Valley Bivouac, which is northwest of Erewhon, right here. I'll zoom in so you can see details of the landscape. 
And I flew my helicopter, that's why that's there, just so you're aware. Don't expect to be looking for a helicopter on the ground. But, yeah, so, in fact, let's place a marker right there, a beacon, so we can give you an idea of just how far away Air One is. It's about almost two kilometers away. But, alright, ghosts, that's what I got for you. Until next time.